actually just got back home from an event. I didn't vlog at the event, to be honest. I was only there for a little bit. Um, but I wanted to pick up my camera because my boxes just came in from Amazon Prime Day. To be honest, I really didn't order a lot of stuff that was actually on sale or anything. Uh, but I got some stuff that I want to use to vlog right now. Um, just things that I needed. I needed some organizing bins for my bathroom and also for my kitchen. So we're going to do some organizing right now. I do need to clean out my closet again, even though I did not too long ago because it's a mess. And I literally just posted a reset video, but to be fair, that video was filmed a few weeks ago and I already need to like do a little touch up because look, this is a mess. <laughs> it's terrible. And then look, I have all of this stuff just kind of everywhere. But like I said, that was a few weeks ago that I posted that. Um, but anyway, I want to do some organizing in this video. We're not going to do like a full reset like I did in that vlog, but I did get some baskets and bins and stuff over here. But um, yeah, I want to do some organization in the bathroom under here. This needs some TLC really bad. I do have, oops, there you go. I do have this semi-organized, even this needs to be like cleaned out. And so I wanted to show you like the before of underneath my sink and then we're going to work on on it together. Also kind of have it somewhat not <laughs> not really. It's not looking good, but I do have some you know organization bins in here and whatnot. I just need to really touch up on this stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to do. To be honest, most of the stuff, sorry, I'm trying to say you guys don't. Most of the stuff I ordered for the sale was not even on any type of sale these bins supposedly were but they were not they were maybe like a few cents or like a dollar or so less than regular price from what i saw it just didn't even make sense but i needed to get them anyway some of these i already have but i just needed more i don't know which ones are. And the fact that they send stuff in boxes, inside boxes, inside boxes, is like crazy. Let me scoot you guys back. So first up are these, which are stackable. I have some like this that I showed you, but they're a little bit shorter. There these here and it's a set of two you just stack them up so i don't know what i'm gonna put in these we'll see i also bought labels to put in front of each one of these after i figure out what's gonna go in each one i got so i saw on tiktok that somebody posted these uh what are they called octo buddies and they said that a good hack was to stick two of them together because a lot of people have these Octo Buddies on their phone, like on the back. If you've seen people with this on the back of their phone, I got the transparent one. But you're supposed to be able to stick it on your phone and then stick your phone onto a bunch of different surfaces to take videos and photos. Um, but if you stick it directly on your phone, it's stuck on your phone and it just looks ugly in my opinion. <laughs> like I don't wanna have this stuck on my phone all the time. So a hack was to stick two of them together and that way you can stick it onto the back of your phone and then stick it onto the wall and then it easily comes off. So I finally got that. I ordered um, a speaker also, which is cute. I've had my Bose speaker for years and it's already run down. I needed to get a new one and this, I was shopping, I forget where I was shopping. But I was shopping somewhere and they had the music bumping. And I was like, what speaker is that? And I followed the music and I looked at the speaker. And it was this speaker. I think they had it in a black one. Maybe it was this color too. But this is like a really cream, really cream, really pretty cream. I'm just not going to show because the lighting looks. There you go. You can kind of see it right here. It's like a cream speaker. The sound on this is so 
good and clear and crispy so i'm glad i got this uh and not only is it like a cute speaker but the sound is really good i already tested it today and i'm glad that i picked that up um a few more organization things This one I think is for underneath the kitchen sink, I wanna say. Hopefully none of this stuff. This one might have to be like put together. I'll show you what it looks like once I put it together. box inside a box like inside another box because this was inside of an Amazon box like what is going on so unnecessary and it's oh no I was gonna say it's on inside another box but it's not So this right here is a drawer, one that can stack on top of these when I put another two over here. Oh, I got a camera to have inside my apartment. Oh, and these are bins, more bins, more bins and boxes. mostly why my apartment looks a mess because of all these staggone boxes oh these ones are rolling bins they have tiny wheels on the back and you can use them in wherever you want and they roll out but so these I'm gonna use under the, the kitchen sink and the little wheels I can like roll them in and out of underneath there i got two of those yeah look at this i can't wait to set up this camera i really only got it because of whenever my boyfriend's dog is over i like to watch him through the camera so cute um sometimes whenever i'm at my boyfriend's house he like jumps on the couch and he's not supposed to but when we're not home he, we'll look at the camera and he's like chilling on the couch it's so funny so I'm like, I want to watch him and see what he does when he's here. And it's also nice to have, like, obviously a camera in here just in case maintenance is over or whatever the case may be. So this one had, like, really good reviews. So I'm going to plug this up and put it together. That's literally the only reason I got the camera. All right. Let me kind of situate the space and then we'll get to organizing some of this stuff i still have more bins but i'll show you later i threw out some of the boxes already before i even get started with any of that i want to put these flowers in a vase uh the event that i went to was for the brand Innis innisfree and they gave us flowers to go which y'all know i love a good bouquet to go and they also gave me some skincare Flowers are in the bathroom. I am going to do a quick tidy off camera before I do this because if not, it's gonna drive me insane. What do I want for dinner? Oh, I made spaghetti yesterday, so um, I'll just have that. But I'll see you guys in a little once I'm ready to start doing some organizing. <laughs> I'm wearing my um, super baggy. Make it right on it. Make it right to my name on it. 
I'm ready to organize, but I'm listening to my music. So we're gonna have to do a little, um, montage moment or music over what I'm doing because I wanna listen to my music, okay? <laughs> I got rid of so much stuff that I didn't use. Now, this isn't gonna be how I end up leaving it. I do want to get two more of these larger ones right here and put them here and then this scoot over. The only thing with that though is I have these things over here that I don't know what I'm, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. This stuff, I'm gonna put it in one of these that's gonna be here. But I like how this is organized a lot more because everything is in a section, but the way I had it before, I was able to have more stuff because I just had more height, if that makes any sense. But I, I like that this, you know, everything has a spot. So I have all the tampons, pads and stuff, deodorants, nail stuff, um, cleansers. I have toners and moisturizers and serums. I have like makeup remover, eyelash remover, I have masks, I need to dust this off because the bath bombs got all in here, but I have masks and my teeth whitening stuff, the bath bombs down here, these are oils, hair oils, serums, and makeup gel, my makeup brush cleaner, I have little cups and extra soaps, brushes, or I should say hair brushes, and my heat protectants and serums. And then these are styling products, like more gels. Once this is nice and organized and I get the rest of the stuff, I will show you what it's looking like. And then in the back, I just kind of have, oh, I'm falling. I just kind of have miscellaneous stuff for whenever I need to refill or restock anything, extra pads, tampons, and these are all things back here that I don't reach for on the daily, so I can have them back here kind of tucked away, and when I need them, I can just easily slide these out and reach for whatever I need. You can see here, I added those two drawer bins that I told you guys I was gonna order, they came in, so I did those two and then swapped out the three, I think it was three smaller ones over to this side and it came out pretty good. Now that most of this part is organized, I'm trying to see if I want to add the stickers or the labels or if I wanna just leave it as is. This comes with a lot of different labels. So if I can find one for each bin, then I'll add it. So, oh, I can use this. Let's see, I could use it for underneath my sink, but I don't have it that organized to where all of one of the rolling ones all-purpose cleaner and stuff like that um these would be cute if you get 
bottles like matching bottles and transfer your stuff over like your cleaning supply and then you use these for the bottles maybe i'll do that one day i don't know if, I, if i'm gonna get that into it maybe i would to be honest they have one for feminine hygiene but i have three different feminine hygiene so maybe we won't do that because then if I put labels, then I got to keep it that organized. And I don't know if I will. Because I might want to switch some things around. And if I put this as makeup remover and I end up adding something else in here that's not makeup remover, then it's like, what's the point? I don't even think there's a makeup remover one on here. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to dedicate each thing. Oh, there is a makeup remover one. I think for now I'm gonna skip out on using the labels just because some of these bins are a mix of different things. So in here I have gels and oils. So I could put this like a hair one overall, but for example, here I have serums, sunscreens, liquid exfoliant. So it's just like not as organized yet to use these but i'm gonna keep them because whenever i get a larger under the sink area when hopefully i get a house or a bigger apartment i could use these labels once i like really hone down on having a specific drawer for each item so these are still going to come in handy and some of these i can use too for the stuff that i have underneath my kitchen sink so i'm not going to return these i am going to keep them here we are a few days later and the rest of my stuff came in. So I got another set of these rolling containers and I also got some other items here that I'm gonna use to just restock underneath my sink. So we are going to do that now. So these that I have, I also got from, I wanna say Amazon, but they are not sturdy. I think, no, I got these at Target. I'm lying, so. The thing with them is they're not, they're supposed to be stackable, but they're not sturdy at all, so. I mean, I'm gonna put this stuff somewhere else. Here's what I'm gonna go with, I think. We'll see once everything is in there. But this is kind of similar to what I had before, just kind of like swapped out the containers. So let's start with, we'll go right to left. I think that looks good. I need to find a way to store these. And here I have bags for whenever I need one or whenever somebody comes over and they need a, like a little bag to go or something. I have some Lululemon bags and here I have like more. I like to reuse them. So I could just kind of shove this on the side like I had it. I think that's gonna look crazy though love it it looks a lot more organized and cleaner <laughs> like that i love that let's keep it like this it's functional i have everything i need i did have doubles of some stuff i had two fruit vegetable washes two dis disinfecting sprays two glass cleaners no i condensed big time i got rid of a glass cleaner i just got rid of like any additional stuff that i did not necessarily need because i'm sick and tired of having just a bunch of stuff so i think that looks better and i do have these reusable target bags i cannot figure out where to put these so maybe i'll get a little basket or something that i can put back there and make these really really small and reuse these also but for now or i've seen where some people even have it up here i don't know if i'll be able to do it with my sink like a drawer or something but for now i'm just gonna keep it as is because i like it 
Let me give you a little close up so you can see now. And I tried to organize these to where on my cleaning days, I can just roll out the bin that I need. So most likely will be these two. I just roll it out, roll it out. And I don't have to take out each product individually. I can just roll it out, use the stuff, roll it back in, easy peasy. And this right here is stuff that I don't reach for as often, but I still wanted a spot for them for when I need them. And then in the backpack over there, it's stuff that I hardly ever reach for, but I like to just have. And then it's like tucked away and it still looks nice and organized. Restocked on all of this stuff, dishwashing pots, dishwasher cleaner, and garbage disposal cleaner, the little lemon, lemon balls, extra sponges, and my mystery eraser, <laughs> my magic erasers back there. More sponges, all of my Swiffer stuff. And these open up so much smoother than the ones that I had before from Target, because these actually roll out. The other ones are just a mess. So this makes it a lot easier. And that's how I organize all of this stuff. I will link down below in case you want to organize underneath your kitchen sink also. Let me put you guys onto something really quick. Clean Skin Club on their website only. They have this box that stores all of the Clean Skin Club towels um, in case you want something to store them in. I was waiting and waiting to see if they would put this on Amazon, but they hadn't. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna order it on their website. And no regrets. It already comes with um, the towels in there. And then you can just refill it whenever you get your towels. And it goes with my bathroom perfectly. They have the pull-out drawer one and they have one where it has a lid on top and you just pull the lid up. I like this one because I can set stuff on top. Like if I don't have this here, I can put these two on there to condense and have a little bit more counter space. Um, whereas you can't really do that with the one with the lid on there, but I really like it. Highly recommend if you want somewhere to store them. Before I used to just have them sitting on there in the box that they come in, which is fine too, but this to me just looks a little bit better of course a little role-playing moment just pull it out grab your stuff. so extra but i freaking love it it makes everything look like nice and clean you guys i got a new car <laughs> i got a new freaking car we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it but gosh i am finally getting to sit down and talk to you guys because this past week i've just kind of been on go it's now been a few days since i've had my car and i'm like i need to sit down i need to talk to them and tell them what's tea what 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 <laughs> but yes i got a new car uh if you didn't know the car i had before was a toyota highlander suv obviously and surprisingly when i had that car i actually would get a lot of questions about it like what car do you have the interior is really nice like a lot of people would ask me about the car itself of course toyota is like really reliable ever since i got that car that was a 2020 toyota highlander and ever since i got that car and if you know you know the feeling i'm about to express but every time i would get in my car i just didn't feel like it was my car and it's like Sabrina, it's just the car, it gets you to and from, it's a nice truck, it's reliable, what more do you need? But it's just one of those things where, and it's just like my old apartment, maybe it was just the phase in my life I was in, I don't know. But just like my old apartment, I just did not feel like that was my space, it didn't feel me, it didn't feel like home. My car wasn't, it wasn't like that, it wasn't that dramatic, that intense, it was just like this car is not, it's just not a car I would drive. And every time somebody would see me and my car, They'd be like, I wouldn't picture you driving this car. And I was like, I know. like, Because <laughs> it's definitely like a big, to me, I would always say, I'm like, this is such a mom car, which is like, obviously, eventually I want to be a mom, but it's just not a car that I would drive right now. I would think I would drive right now. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's how I felt about my car. And every time I would get in it, I was like, this just, it don't feel like my car. So for the past, I want to say like year, or so there was this specific car that I was eyeing I saw it once out on the street and ever since I saw it I was like whoa I love that car and that is the car that I want and it's the car that I have now <laughs> so ever since that day that I saw it I'm gonna give you all the long story if you don't want to 
he has a long story you can skip on over but when i first saw this car out in the street i looked it up i looked at the different interior options and everything and i was like wow they have something that i would really really like obviously it's a luxury car but it's also reliable it's just when i saw it i was like i this is the car i want so ever since then i've kind of had my eye on it i kept looking online kept looking at like different pictures and looking at different things on tiktok like everywhere i was looking google instagram youtube watching youtube videos on it just everything i finally decided i want to get this car now when i first went into wanting to get the car i honestly didn't know a whole lot about the whole car buying process all the cars that i have gotten i've gone to get with my dad like he'll come with me he'll negotiate he'll do everything for me and i just kind of sit there like okay ready to you know sign the paperwork and this time around i was like i'm gonna take my dad or have somebody come with me for this car as well that was my original plan my original thought as the time went on i was noticing that that specific car that i wanted with the exact exterior color interior color the trim everything was really hard to find in person and really hard to get and so i talked to one of my cousins i asked her you know like because she was saying that she usually gets all her cars and she was kind of giving me like advice and stuff like that and i kind of asked her for her advice like what do you think is a good you know deal da, da 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 what to avoid what not to say what's like a red flag all that stuff and so she kind of helped me in that department and then obviously from seeing what my dad has done and like what he's told me as well i asked him for some advice and then slowly but surely i was like i think i might want to do this on my own mind you i have never ever ever <laughs> step foot on a dealership by myself like never not even to test drive to look nothing but th that's how bad i want the car i was like i really want this car so when i first saw the car right i liked it whatever me and my sister what this was like a while ago me and my sister went into the dealership just to look at the car in person again because i'd only seen it on the street that one time and then ever since then i started kind of seeing it but not enough to really get a visual in person so stepped on the stepped foot on the dealership with my sister um i don't even think anybody talked to us nobody really like hey da 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 we just kind of walked the floor and i got to see the inside i decided like yep this is the one and so they didn't have the one that i wanted the exact one i wanted but they had like different models with the interior it had different exterior and then they had the white exterior but like a bl all black interior it was just not the exact one i wanted but obviously i got to see the car itself in person so then after that um a few months went by again and i decided to actually step foot onto the dealership and test drive the car and at this point i was going by myself so i was definitely nervous but i went in with the mindset of like girl you're only test driving the car you don't need to talk numbers like you don't need to do none of that just be very straightforward and be like hey i'm just looking i just want to test drive that's it so I went into a different dealership than the first one I went into. Test drove the car. Um, they were kind of like trying to talk to me about it um, and trying to show me other models in other colorways of that same type of car. And I was like, no, like, I don't want to settle for this car. I was very transparent from jump. I was like, I'm not going to settle for a different colorway. I don't want a different trim. I don't want a different nothing because I settled with my truck that I have right now and I don't. I'm not gonna do that and they were like okay like totally understandable we understand it's a big investment xyz so you know i test drove it and at that point even though i already knew from the beginning that i wanted that car after test driving i was like yeah so time went on again and i started calling dealerships finally i was like okay let's do it i'm gonna start calling and when i started calling different dealerships they did not have the car i wanted anywhere the same trim the white exterior vanilla beige interior select model they did not have it anywhere 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 and i was like this is about to be a mission and it's going to be interesting because there's not any other car i see on the street that i really really want not even the even more luxury cars that i would see on the street i'm like i i don't know why i picture myself driving this 
car. This is the car that I want to drive. There was nothing else on the street. And I, I would drive all the time and look around just to see like, oh, maybe that car, maybe that car. And there wasn't not one car I would see that I was like, I want to test drive that car and I want that car. I don't know what it was. But anyway, so I was, you know, still optimistic. I was like, you know, I'm not in a rush to buy the car. This is the car I know I want. I'll just kind of, kind of be patient and see when there's gonna be one. So weeks went by, months went by, and I would call and call and call and no dealerships would have it. Finally, I called one dealership and they were like, we have, I think they said we have three coming in. Two of them already have a deposit, so somebody already reserved the car basically the car was gone unless they decided not to get it but just based on the track record of the car being hard to find i'm like they're gonna take the car and they're like we do have one that no one has put a deposit on if you're interested in it now mind you at that time i still was not really prepared to walk into a dealership not financially because i definitely was prepared financially but i was not prepared like mentally i didn't know what to expect what to say what not to say how to know if I'm getting bamboos. I didn't know none, none of that. So I was like, okay, let me do more research. Like, I still don't feel fully comfortable to walk into this by myself. So then I waited a little bit longer, did more research, just kind of for some reason I just didn't, I wasn't there. And then I finally was like, you know what, Sabrina, you are gonna have to get to a point where you're gonna have to learn how to do this. You really want this car, you don't see any other car it's either now and you get the car you want or you wait and you never get it and you just you're gonna have to learn with a different car and settle for another car again so i was like okay i then went to the fir very first dealership that i walked on with my sister i decided to go back to that one and ask if they had i had called or emailed to see if they had one in stock so i decided to walk up in there and i was like hey I'm Sabrina, you talked to me on the phone, like, do you guys have one coming in? I just wanted to come in. I was right around the way, so I was like, might as well just stop by. And he was very, um, he was kind. He was like, yeah, we have one coming in. We don't have it in person, but we can kind of talk through some numbers and see, you know, if it's within your price range, if it's what you want to pay for, if you think it's a good deal. So I was like, okay, cool, like, let's do it. So we sat down, he walked me through the numbers, and I was like, absolutely not. Like, there were so many additional, this is the thing, car buying can be very intimidating doing it on your own, especially as a woman, and especially as a woman's first time, if you don't know what you're doing. I was in there sweating, but I did not show it at all. I walked in there confidently, and I was like, I didn't say this is what I'm willing to pay for, but I knew in my mind, what I was willing to pay for and what was like a joke, just going based off of what my cousin said and what my dad said. And mind you, my dad got me my last car for an insane, 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 insane deal. So um, when he showed me the numbers, we hadn't run my credit yet. I was like, I don't wanna run my credit. I know what I qualify for. I know I'm gonna qualify. I know everything. I just wanna get potential numbers just to see where we're at. And after the, seeing the numbers, I was like, absolutely not. Like this, they were adding so many additional fees. You gotta be careful with that. They were adding all these like, oh yeah, we add this for 3,000 more, da 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 da. And I, when I said no, this is a lot of money that you're asking for over MSRP, he was like, oh well. And I, when I was about to walk away, which you should be willing to walk away and not be scared to say no because that's when they're willing to knock some things down if you didn't know so i was like no and i was leaving and he's like well we can try to see if we can knock off all of these incentives and he was adding an additional fee for putting down a deposit like if you want to put it because there was only one coming in in that colorway and so he's like if we can take a deposit and the deposit is refundable but we have to add these additional fees uh, uh blah 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 which no and so um, I was like, yeah, no, like I'm cool. Like this is not a car I'm like super pressed to get right now, even though 
hours and so he was like yeah no totally understandable like we're not trying to like push people to buy cars you know and it's true they're not because those cars are going like when they get there in that colorway they are gone and so i'm sure he was like we can sell this car to somebody else at the price that we want and they're gonna buy it and they definitely could for that car so but i was like i'm not gonna pay that price <laughs> absolutely not and so I was like, no, I'm good, like da da da. So I left, right? And so after that encounter, I, I honestly at that point had gotten a little disappointed, not disappointed, um, discouraged is the word I'm trying to use. I was getting a little discouraged because at this point it's been like a year that I've been wanting this car. Everybody's sick and tired of me talking about I don't want my truck, I want this specific car. Like people that know me in real life have heard me talk about, well, a lot of people have heard me talk about this car. And they're probably sick and tired of hearing me on this car. But I I was just like, I might not be able to get this car because it's in high demand. And I don't think anybody's going to want to get me this car at the price that I'm willing to pay for it and the price that I think the car is worth. And so fast forward to last Friday. <laughs> last Friday this past friday literally just a few days ago i had a facial scheduled in santa monica uh my little monthly facial i was like okay i'm gonna go get a facial that was all i had planned for the day i had my facial scheduled and i was gonna drive back home stop by target because i had a target pickup order of a bunch of cleaning supply and i was gonna go home do my pre-weekend clean just relax probably hang out with my man and that was going to be the end of my Friday. So I thought. <laughs> so I got my facial. Skin was looking real good, feeling real good. And I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, I think I'm going to stop by the dealership afterwards. And so I was like, I just want to see. I just want to see, you know, what I can do here, if they have it. I know they're probably not going to have the car I want, but I just want to see if maybe the, the salesman here or the saleswoman here is a little bit more helpful and more welcoming because at the first dealership i went to it just kind of seemed like they weren't trying to sell they weren't really trying to nothing it just kind of felt like okay lady like we'll sell to somebody else which is totally fine so i pulled up to the santa monica genesis and i was looking at the cars that they had outside the i didn't see the one that i wanted of course and then a woman named denise came up to me and she was like hey like has anybody helped you you know what are you looking for today and that right away i appreciated because i didn't get that at the other two dealerships that i went to i had to go inside and actually find somebody to like help me and so that right off the bat i really like of course when you go to a dealership you hope that they would do that or you most of the time you try to avoid that because you just want to look at the cars but i was very interested in this car and so them coming up to me i'm i'm looking for customer service and i'm looking for all those little things because i knew i i wanted this car and so i was like yeah very casually like i've been looking for this specific car this specific trim haven't had the best luck like i know this car kind of like it's hard to find she's like let me see let me look in our system and she's like well we actually have one on our lot we have the gv70 the with the colorway that you want but we have it in the advanced trim instead of the select trim and i wanted the select the advanced trim is one trim higher so it has like a little bit more features than the, the select that i wanted and i was like no like i know the price range i'm trying to go for and like what i want to pay for a car and i just i'm not really interested in the advance to be honest um you know but thank you i appreciate it and she's like well we do have um one that's coming in that's in the select model the colorway that you want we have one coming in at the end of the month it might come a little earlier it just depends and so i was like oh, okay cool like um that's definitely the one i would be mostly interested in of course they they have the advanced model on the lot and they want to sell that one first so they're not going to mention or some dealerships wouldn't mention that they have some lower trims on the way because they want to sell what they have obviously it's extremely important to stick to what you want and stick to the numbers 
and the trim and everything that you want because nine times out of ten if a salesman or a saleswoman really wants to sell a car they're gonna find you the car that you want they're gonna they're gonna make way for that when she told me that was like amazing like i haven't i didn't say that but i was in my mind i was like oh my gosh they have the car but when i was there i showed minimal interest and that's another tip that i can give is like when you go car shopping you don't want to be head over heels in front of a salesperson because that's going to make them be like oh they really like this car so we can probably sell it to them a little bit higher because they really want this car and they're going to be willing to pay a certain price so i walked in there very just like hi like very short just showed very minimal interest even though i've been eyeing this car like crazy 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 for the past year she's like do you want to test drive the advanced model just to see and i was like no i want the select like i don't want to test drive it i've already test, test driven the one that i want to get she's like okay totally understandable and of course they want to do that because they want to get you in the car and get you to like woo and drool over the car and get you to buy the car <laughs> like these are all this is all a part of the process people she's like let me just bring the car and i was like okay fine like i that's fine just bring the car i'll look at it um she's like you don't have to get the advanced model but just so you can see the colorway and make sure that it's exactly what you want and so then she asked me all the different things she didn't ask me what i'm willing to pay or nothing like that she just asked me like as far as will i be leasing will i be financing will i be like all those different things that they want to know before running any numbers she's like okay we have numbers let's pull you into the office and they put me in the office and that's that's where nitty gritty that's where it goes down at this point i was a little nervous but not as nervous as i was the first time i had gone to the first dealership i was nervous though because this was the first time i was potentially actually going to walk out with the car after she told me they had the select model on the way i was like whoa i might actually walk out with uh signed paperwork and a new car on the way so they put me into the office and i was very very nervous but i did not show that i was nervous at all i was very kind of stoic and straightforward not rude but just black and white straight to the point so he showed me the numbers and i was like absolutely not <laughs> I was like, no, the numbers that you're giving me are very similar numbers to the very first dealership that I went to. I didn't say it like this, but I'm just telling you guys like, you know, up front. I was like, no, the numbers are too high. Like this is not what I'm willing to pay for this specific car. And I saw on there that they had those additional, he was also adding these additional random fees that the first dealership was adding. And he was like, <laughs> you know, I'm not playing like games. And I was just like, no. And he was like, okay, we can, let's work through some some things. And they took out those extra fees, of course, and gave me a different number. And I was just like, I knew what I wanted to pay already monthly for the car. I knew what APR I wanted for the car. I knew what I wanted to put down on the car and I knew um, how long I wanted my term to be. I knew all of this upon walking in. And when I first sat in that chair, I want to say we were like, I think we were like $300 a month over the number that I wanted for the car that I had in my mind. And so I kept, he was like, what about this for this price? What about this many months? And I was like, no, 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 no like no 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 and i kept saying like no not like that but you know i was just like no this is not gonna work for me like this is what i'm willing to pay just all of the fluff all of the fluff and we just kind of kept going down 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 and then we got to the point where it was like ten dollars a month over what i was what i had in my mind and i was like nope i was like i know what i want to pay for the car i know this is very thorough but i just want to walk you guys through because i just throughout this process learned a lot and i'm very proud of the fact that i was able to do it on my own so just in case you know for anybody out there that maybe needs a little confidence boost when when car buying or making a big purchase but um it's not recommended to walk in and say i want to pay like for example let's say your budget is 500 dollars a month it's not smart to walk in and say well i want to pay 500 dollars a month for my car because they then they can say okay we can we can give you 500 dollars, 
but they can extend your term to 72 months and you're stuck paying a car for 72 whole months, $500. And at the end of your term, you're paying a lot more for the car than the what the car is even worth or what you even wanted to pay for the car. So it's not recommended to go in there and say, well, I wanna pay this much. Um, so what I did, I um, literally was like, for this term, this APR slash interest rate, this rate like this it, these are the exact numbers and i'm not willing to go above that like i said we got to a point where it was that the apr was there the term was there but he wanted to do like ten dollars over a month uh than what i wanted to pay and at that point you literally want to, because you've been there for hours and it's like it's all very strategic. You've been there for hours, you're tired, you don't wanna be there anymore. And you want to just be like, okay, fine, like, yes, let's do it. But I was like, no, hold on my phone. Even though it was only $10 a month over, that adds up over a year, over a term, like it adds up. And I was just like, no, like I, I know what I want, respectfully, sir. <laughs> and like, I didn't come in here for the advance, oh, Oh, I forgot to mention Denise, which she was absolutely amazing, incredible, so kind and just amazing. She was like, I know you came in for the select model. I think we can get you the car that you want with a little bit of extra features at a, at a really good price. And I was like, fine. So everything that we were talking through in the office was for the advanced model, the higher, the higher trim. And so we were so close and we were close to hitting the numbers that I wanted for the lower model, which is crazy. He didn't want to budge from like the $10 over. I was like, okay, so we're not going to meet here. He kept wanting to like meet halfway and like, okay, so what if I meet you halfway? And I was like, no, like this is the price I want. So um, I was like, okay, so if we're not going to meet at, the price that I want, then I'll just get the select model at the price that I want. Let's just do that and I'll wait for the car. I don't need the, the advanced model. And so he's like, you are like one tough cookie. And like, <laughs> he was just kind of like chuckling a little bit because he's like, you know, I we've gone down so much and like X, Y, Z. And I was just like, I know, like I, I just know what I want like and I'm standing on it and that's just what I, yeah. So he's like, okay, let's just see. So he went to talk to, and this was already him going back and forth a few times and we had already been there for a few hours and I was still just kind of standing my ground. So he's like, let me just go see like one more time. And then he came back and he's like, he brought, took his hand out and he was like, we we're gonna do it at the price that you want for this car. And I, after that, I still didn't want to show excitement. I was just kind of like, you're getting your car. <laughs> I could not believe it. I could not believe I was going to walk out with that car. Shook his hand, uh, looked at Denise, and she's like, we're getting you the car that you want. And they were just kind of just like, you, you are not playing when it comes to this car and the rate that you want to get for this car. And I was like, nope. So it started doing, you know, doing all the paperwork and everything like that. You know, I still had to wait for a little bit for they could get all that um, taken care of, getting the car detailed and all that stuff. But um, it was just a very eye-opening experience more than anything. Of course, you know, getting a new car is amazing. It's fun. It's like adrenaline. It's a new thing. And it's something that's a material thing, obviously. But more than anything... I walked out of this just feeling so freaking proud of the fact that I went into this whole entire process essentially solo, obviously with the help of my cousin and my dad, like their advice and everything obviously goes a long way, but essentially going in and doing it all on my own, that to me was the cherry on top, aside from getting a beautiful car, the lesson behind it all was definitely my favorite and I... I probably low-key could have even gotten in a sicker deal, a better deal if my dad would have gone with me because that's just a whole different level. But um, 
I got I got the car for what I was willing to pay and my dad was like you after I told him everything and he saw the car he was just like very proud and he was like you did good and he's like this is a really nice car he was like I love this car like and I was just like so proud because my dad like never is not like ever like that and so the lesson behind this all and the reason why I wanted to really just dive into the nitty gritty details is because I really want to highlight how important it is especially as a woman to know how to do these things on your own just to have the experience under your belt just to know what you're doing just to feel damn good about it i could have just handed this over and had my dad do it or had my cousin fly down from where she's at to come and help me i could have done all of that but i decided you know what i need to learn how to do this eventually and uh, could i probably have gotten an even better deal hell yeah i'm pretty sure i could have some way but i i knew what i was willing to pay for the car and i was able to knock knock down the og price monthly by like two or three hundred dollars and so that to me i just feel so accomplished so proud aside from having a damn nice ass car sitting literally in my garage that i have the keys for aside from that feeling i just feel really accomplished and really really proud of myself i promise i'm going to show you the car soon <laughs> we will go out there um so i can show you i'm not gonna do a a super detailed like montage of the car and all this craziness i'm just literally gonna show you just a snippet it's just the car at the end of the day but i do want to show you essentially what your girl's finna be whipping around <laughs> um no but just all in all all in all okay and you know what's coming the i'm very grateful for y'all spiel <laughs> but i am um i say this time and time again and many people say this many pe people that are in this industry whenever we take a next step in life whenever we get that next to that next level whatever that is to that specific person um we just we like to thank you guys because i don't I feel myself getting a little emotional. Why am I getting emotional? And we always say this in these videos too. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten emotional. I have not cried about this car or I don't even think it's the car thing at this point. I think it's just a different mix of emotions. But um, just we like to thank you guys because first of all um a lot of you have seen me experience different things in life and have seen me through different levels in my life through growth through literal ups and downs um of course people who are just stumbling across this video don't know who i am don't know where i've come from don't know my history don't know nothing absolutely nothing and so the people who have even stuck with me through the past few years just kind of know the different different things that I've experienced and have still been able to walk through essentially with grace, with positivity, with passion and just still being kind, still being Sabrina and still being the person that I am. And so I, we and I like to come on here just to thank you guys because it's been a long freaking journey. It's been, I've been in the game now for, I actually looked up the other day, um, how long, how many years I have been doing YouTube ever since I put myself out there, like my very first YouTube video. This October, it's gonna be seven years that I've been doing it full time as my full time career, my full time job, completely on my own. Um, gosh, like social media has been funding my my lifestyle for seven years. I've been doing this passionately for seven consecutive years. And next year, it will be 10 years. 10 years since I put out my very first video. The video that started off the entire thing 10 years ago. And so 
from the outside looking in just stumbling across this one video of a material object uh, car it seems very like oh very attainable very but y'all it's been 10 years and i just um i want to put emphasis on that because it's been a long time coming and for me my journey has always been slow and steady wins the race and i i've said this before and i'll say it again but it's always been that way for me it's and i'm grateful for that because i don't know that i would take on big numbers and going viral and becoming very popular all at one time i don't think i would take that very well and i i that's not my preference i i prefer the slow and steady wins the race so this for me is just another milestone and it's just that little hump that little next step for me i'm feeling very very happy very happy very content in my life right now I'm in an apartment that I am obsessed with, that I love, that feels like home. I live in the city, which I never imagined myself living in because of the price, because of everything just seems so unattainable. I would drive through here all the time and be like, one day, one day, one day, and the day is here. Like I literally am looking outside at the palm trees and the cars and the buildings and it's, I have the car that I want. <laughs> sitting in my garage right outside of the door and yeah um so thank you uh thank you for my day ones the people who have been rocking with me and riding with me since i quit my job at sephora years ago since my very first video since um all the times i've moved from my different relationships from my college days from the times where I was juggling being a manager working retail while also juggling being a full-time university student getting my bachelor's degree while also trying to do this social media game <laughs> I I was doing all that stuff at one time all all of those things for the people who have just stumbled across this video and are like I'm instantly subscribing because I just I'm drawn to you like everybody everybody in between thank you thank you thank you 10 times over because your of course consistency and the amount of videos I've put out and the time and the work and the energy and being consistent for 10 freaking years y'all I'm coming up on 10 that's a lot seven even seven years full-time that's insane to still be relevant in this space that for that long but not just that um i it all goes hand in hand with having people who support you in these platforms and people who continuously come back to watch videos or even if they just stumble across one video like every view every second every subscriber every support anything any purchase you make through my links like all of that connects so i just i'm grateful for the passion and consistency that i have and i'm grateful for the support and the continuous continuous energy that you guys bring to me because without those two things i literally would not i would not be in this that i'm in right now so whoo now with that being said i am gonna get myself changed up and get my stuff and we're going to head to starbucks because my mom just told me they have a little coupon going so we're gonna go get a little starbucks and i'm gonna bring you guys along with me in my new car and show you a little bit of the inside and just you know what the car is looking like what i'm gonna be riding in in these vlogs and in my in my content from here on out <laughs> my goodness okay the thing now with this car which is it's not a big deal i can figure it out but um my cam camera situation i had it all figured out in my other car as far as how i mounted my camera and now i have been buying you're gonna see when i show you the car i have like different mounts in here because i'm trying to figure out the best way to mount my vlog camera in here and my phone also. So right now driving with you guys is gonna be interesting because 
the camera is not mounted. So we'll see how this goes. Remember how I told you guys I just got this car on Friday? I already need gas. You want to know why? And they filled me up. Before I left the lot, they filled me all the way up. You want to know why I need gas? Because I've been driving nonstop everywhere. Want a coffee? Let's go. Want to go that here? Grocery store? Let's go. Target run? Let's go. Like, I'm driving this car to the ground. So I'm pulling up to Starbucks. I'm going to order my drink on the app, sit in the parking lot, wait, and then go inside and get it. Funny enough, I had just filmed a car, a new car essentials video because I had just updated my car essentials bag and everything that I had in my car. I filmed the video in my old truck and uh, I'm gonna scrap that and we're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna do, we're gonna do one in here instead and I'll show you like what I stocked up my car with and just kind of like things I like to keep in my car in general. It's always a trip when I see people walk out of Starbucks and they have their coffee and the coffee is just black. Black, 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 black. I'm like, that looks like soda, like a Coke. <laughs> I can never. Give me the sweet cold foam vanilla pump cinnamon junk all in there. I need it. Ooh. Ooh, I have that line on the inside of my lips. Y'all just wasn't gonna tell me that I had a line all in here. Yeah, no. We need to fix that. A sale. There's a big mirror. I just noticed that. For my drink, I got, and I, I ordered it wrong, but it's still bomb. So it's a grande ice shaken espresso with blonde espresso, and I did two shots instead of three. Two pumps of vanilla, add vanilla cold foam, and I also added cinnamon powder, but I meant to ask for the cinnamon powder shaken into the coffee because they just sprinkled it on top. Um, which you could mix it, but it's different when you have it shaken because it doesn't settle. Um, and I don't want to shake it in here, obviously. I don't want to spill, but the drink's really good. It kind of tastes like a vanilla latte, can't lie. Um, and obviously, this typically comes with three shots. Uh, it tasted pretty good with three, but I was like, I don't need three shots of espresso, even if it's blonde. Like, I don't. Two's fine. We need OD on the espresso. Okay, so here is the car. This is how she looks from the outside, just like all white. And you can see the sunroof at the top. And I'll show you the trunk. And it's nice and spacious. My Toyota did have more, a lot more room, but it was obviously a much bigger SUV. But this comes with this on top. I can pull it back. And it still stores a lot of stuff. It still fits the box that I had in my old. Like this has all the things that I use, you know, whenever I wash my car and whatnot. Still fits that and it's still really nice and spacious and then i have this which i didn't have before i used to have to pull it down which is such a small detail but now i can just close it from there okay so for the inside it comes this right here is where i change the gears when i'm driving or when i need a park or whatever so love that and this is where i control the radio just all of the stuff that i have on my screen the steering wheel, nothing super fancy. The controls on this side to lock. This I didn't have before either, where you get to program your seating. Nice big screen up here, a sunglass holder. Open up the sunroof, which I have to turn the car on. And yeah, so the, uh, the color of the interior, like I told you guys, is vanilla beige. It's not a pure white, it's like a creamy, Literally a creamy beige is the best way to describe it. Does have leather seats all throughout. And just the seats in general are just so comfortable and they look very luxurious. They are luxurious. And here uh, you can see the sunroof when it's closed. It matches the rest of the interior of the car. And the back has a pretty nice room. Uh, the seats are kind of, the seats push back here. But there's a lot of like leg room. This seat's five. My Toyota used to see, I think it was seven. Uh, but I never used 
the seats all the way in the back. I hardly ever used even these seats. Usually if anybody was in my car, it was just one person, if that. Um, so this size right here is perfect. And then if you're in the back or even for me, I could control the seat from here, which is like really neat, nice touch. So I don't have to reach over over there. And then it does have cup holders as well, which uh, I can't reach to pull down. But yeah, that's uh, just kind of a quick look at the car. And here we are on Apple CarPlay, which it does have. It's equipped with Apple and Android. Um, I did want to share this. I shared this on my Instagram. Oh, and then this is how it looks once it's like all nice and turned on. I did mention this on my Instagram. So you can charge your phone, obviously. It also has a wireless charger, so you just put your phone here, charges up your phone. Not gonna lie, I've noticed that it charges very slowly, but it's there. And this is what I wanted to show you. So I got this adapter, which I'll link for you guys. Um, if you do not want to always plug in your phone for Apple CarPlay, this right here has Bluetooth. You connect to the Bluetooth of this and you get wireless Apple CarPlay in your car. Uh, only downside to that is obviously you can't charge your phone and use Apple CarPlay at the same time. But if you don't like to have your phone plugged in and you want it to just be completely wireless, you can definitely do that with this. So just a little tip and I do find that I prefer it like this a lot better. That way um, I don't have to plug in my phone every single time that kind of gets annoying so yeah and I haven't had any issues with it at all pretty much when I get back in my car it starts where I left off and uh, don't really have issues while I'm driving with the disconnecting or anything like that so I love that and I'm able to just close this and not have a bunch of wires like sticking out not a bunch just one but still it just makes it feel and look a lot cleaner but yeah, that is pretty much a nice look at the car, the inside, the back. Oh, let's open up this sunroof. And there you have it, the new whip. I did, well, you kind of saw when I first got in my car, I want to say the favorite 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 feature so far about the car is how it looks at night especially because it has trim lighting kind of you can kind of see here but when it's completely dark it shows more of the lighting in here so that lights up this lights up this i believe also lights up here here as well the cup holders and it just is very moody you can also change the color as well but I just I love the way that this car looks at night too when you're driving in it it just looks so bomb but yeah that's how the car looks in video form because I did obviously post a picture but even some people were like I cannot wait for the video and I know I was gonna get asked for like a little car tour so I was like might as well just uh, get that in today for you guys but that's the car I'm driving now I'm really happy with it um i do want to get a few clips for i think i might post like a little reel or just to have for when i film reels and tiktok content that have to do with my car or running errands so i'm going to shoot some of those now since i'm in a good little spot and um that's it kind of just call it a day i have been on a joe and the juice kick so that's where we're headed right now i'm gonna go get a tuna cotto uh i went i think i went earlier this no i didn't go this week i went last week and i kind of feel like having that i haven't had lunch yet so and it's already it's four it's like damn near dinner time but i just have been out and about and i had my meeting at two so I haven't had time to eat and that is on the way home so I thought might as well stop by and get that. I did go to Trader Joe's so I have groceries to be honest. I probably should just cook at home but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to Joe and the Juice. Uh, I asked for my tuna cotto a little differently. There's the spicy tuna cotto and then there's the just regular one. 
I'll tell you my order once we go in there and get it. These houses are so pretty. I will say one of my favorite things to do whenever I'm going to my workout or just in general, I like to take my time and drive through all of the streets with the pretty houses. I drive through here and I'm like one day, one day, one day. I think this is a parking spot. Got the goods. Am I gonna eat in the car? The brand new car? Absolutely. It is not that deep, okay? Okay, so I got, this is what I ordered. The Iron Man juice, which is, I always forget the ingredients. It's like apple, some strawberry, I think, and something else. But it's really good. That's normally what I get. So I get the tuna cotto, no tomato, I add cheese and I add Tabasco sauce and it lo looks just amazing so freaking good you probably can't even see can you there you have it have it fully laid out so I don't make a mess but this right here is 10 out of 10 did they even put Tabasco I don't, oh yeah they do. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna turn my car on though because it's hot if you've never tried a tuna cotto and you're wondering what it tastes like I think I've talked about this in another vlog not gonna lie to you and say it's like uh, life changing. It's not a gourmet. It's girl. It's a tuna sandwich. But what makes it bomb is the bread that they use and the I think it's pesto sauce um, that they use. But um, it's before this I had never tried tuna. To me, it tastes like. Let me lower the air. I don't know if you guys can hear me good. To me, it's like ensalada de pollo, but you add pesto and you add the cheese. The cheese makes it really good too. It's not just like, you know, plain Swiss or anything like that. Um, I forget the cheese, but um, the combination of everything makes it like a nice, fresh, light meal that actually gets you full. It's like healthy, it has avocado and all that stuff. So um, like ensalada de pollo, which is like chicken salad, is essentially chicken mayo sour cream salt pepper um, and you can add whatever like vegetables if you want to it as well um, it's super easy when you think about it if i was able to find the bread which i probably could and the cheese i could easily make this at home with chicken um yeah so maybe i'll try that one day maybe we'll vlog that one day and try it but for now I made it back home and honestly I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the night I'm about to grab my laptop grab this phone grab this camera sit down and edit this vlog that I'm filming right now the links for the organization bins that I used earlier in this vlog all of that will be in the description box and I also have an Amazon storefront where I have all that stuff listed and then just other stuff uh, throughout my apartment too just in case you're interested in that but that's it really thank you guys so much for tuning in and again for your support you know through and through 
this video, my past videos, just all of my content throughout. I appreciate it so, so much. Uh, thank you for the congratulations and all the, the well wishes and the messages. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> um, no, but really, thank you guys. Um, and that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all in my next video. Peace. So this brought around the way. Instantly connected when he caught my eye. Nothing ever was the same. Couldn't seem to get his picture out my mind. Then we took it all the way. I could have sworn he was just my type. Then he, he said to me.